and welcome to another EF2000 TATCOM Let's Play video. Today we're going to attack some surface to air missile sites. We've got to travel 222 miles. We'll get some cover from some F-15s. So let's do this! Searching for surface to air missile sites is what is called a wild weasel mission. And these were first introduced in the in the war in Vietnam now let's check our loadout we're gonna have six alarm missiles alarm stands for air launched anti-radiation missiles so here's our plane on the airfield let's ask the tower to taxi and we'll jump straight to the runway. Tower, Condor taxi. Condor clear takeoff, wind 9 knots, 300. Get up to full throttle and put our afterburners on. Start to go. And there's our wingman just behind us. And pull up. And we're airborne. Airborne. Let's put our undercarriage up with the G button on the keyboard. And we leave the airfield behind us. Okay. We've got to head along to waypoint 2, which is about 56 miles away. And our wingman's just behind us. And he's got four alarm missiles as well. They're the F-15s, they're taking off just behind us. They'll be providing the air cover for us. Start three, go. Uh, if we look around, there's a Cobra in the area. Uh, there it is. An attack helicopter. And I think this is our plane. some tornadoes at the airfield as well I think they're going to take off later if, I'm, if I remember correctly there's a refueler in the area so if we need that we could use that top up to top up our tanks and there's a J767 a J stars plane which identifies the ground targets for us on our JTIDS minimap display and there's an AWACS and that will look out for any airborne targets and track any airborne planes for us there's four F-22s flying in a narrow formation I think they'll provide some air cover for us as well okay let's check the ma minimap I haven't got too far to go. I'll check our fuel, got plenty of fuel. And the engine's all functioning okay. Status normal. Okay. A wingman's just over there. I just want to demonstrate what the formations are. So if we go in an arrow formation, that's just for show really. Our wingman will form up and we'll form a, an arrow formation, which is quite a tight formation. He'll be just over our shoulder. I don't think it performs any use apart from just looking good <laughs> so that this is the arrow formation if there's four of us then we look more like an arrow now if we go into a battle formation I just told my wingman to go into a battle formation we are basically flying a wide, wide spread to give the best coverage so he's flying low so you can check 
for any low flying targets. Now the echelon formation, which I've just told my wingman to go into, is where we fly so close together that it can fool any enemy radar to hide our numbers. So it sounds like a bit like um, the Star Wars where the uh, oh the sand people. That's it. They walk in single file to hide their numbers. <laughs> okay. So back to the Eurofighter. I've got 70 miles to go to the second waypoint. And there's plenty of friendly traffic around us, so I'm just going to skip time and move along a bit. Uh, the F-15s are in the air now. Just check them out. There's us, the wild weasel. I guess we... Uh, I don't know why it's called a wild weasel. I guess it's the animal that ferrets out the uh, the enemies. Because the surface to air missiles and the anti-aircraft guns, I'm just going to show you some of these. Here they are. They won't identify themselves because if they have their radar on to look for you, they'll give away their position and they'll be vulnerable to enemy fire. So what they tend to do is keep quiet and turn their radar off and when they see us coming then they turn their radar on and then um, it'll be too late for us to turn around and fight them because uh, normally they turn their radar on after we pass them. But with these alarm missiles that we've got there's two ways you can shoot them. You can shoot them blind and they'll fly up to 40,000 feet and sit there and wait for any radars to turn on and then they'll home in and destroy the surface to air missile or, or anti-aircraft guns. The other way is the direct way of firing and I'll show you that later. Two, spike. Okay, if we jump into the smart view there's some SU-35s in the area and they're the most advanced enemy fighters in this game. Music. There's an SU-34 which is slightly slightly fatter uh, version of the SU-35 I suppose. It's It's got two, two seats where the pilots sit along each side each other and they're more used for bombing and striking missions. Okay, Music. we're up to waypoint three Order. now. Copy. And there's quite a lot of enemy activity. I can see some enemy planes and some enemy ground targets. The ground targets are denoted by the red cross on the minimap. There's a few red crosses. And there's some enemy planes denoted by the red boxes with red tails from them indicating their direction of travel. Okay, we've got a missile on us. I'm just going to turn around and see if we can break the lock of this missile. We've got our electronic countermeasures on as well. So we haven't even had a chance to launch our air to air missiles in defence, so I'm just going to play it safe. Okay, we've broken the lock and it's safe to turn around again. There's quite a few enemy targets on our radar on the bottom left hand side of the screen. Now I think the F-15s have launched missiles at them, so we'll just let them deal with most of that enemy Music. air cover. And we've got a radar missile on us, so we need to try and break away and we've broken a lock of it just by doing uh, some sharp turns now we've got an infrared missile on us I'll just check our wingman, he's okay ok, I don't know where this infrared missile is about, so I'm just going to wait a little bit you can see the enemy planes have been kept busy by the F-15s. 
and switch to AMRAM missiles. So I could be ready to shoot, and there's an SU 35 coming down in smoke. There he goes down into the ground. Two, spike. Boom. Okay, the infrared missile's lost its lock. So we're safe to engage. Two, buddy, spike. And we've got a lock and missile away. There it goes. Two, On its spike. way. The missile view is pretty cool, I'd say. Music. You can just follow this missile and uh, you can see it hit the plane. Engage. There's two targets or two little two, dots in the distance, so two. You engage, I'll cover. let's hope this one hits home. Two. I'll engage, you cover. Negative. You engage, I'll cover. And it's missed. You can see the two. chaff Copy. that the enemy plane has released to fall our missile. So we're just gonna acquire a new lock. And missile away. I think that's an SU thirty four. It's got a slightly wider cockpit on our infrared track and search display. I can see and it's fooled it again. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll switch to our ASRAM short range missiles now. And just turn around. Quickest way is really to do a bottom loop, what they call it, is it? <laughs> just a loop round like that. Rather than turn into the enemy. Okay, we've got it in our sights. And missile away. I'm going to launch two because the Astrodome short range missiles have got a much smaller warhead. So off they go. And it's fooled our missiles. Incredible. Two, Fox, one. Must have launched some flares there. Music. To fool our heat seeking, heat -seeking missiles. I've got two missiles left, so I've wasted quite a lot of missiles on this plane. Okay, so I'm going to get my sights onto him. I'm going to tell my wingman to engage this target. He might have a bit of luck. Two, copy. Two, splash, one. Okay, he's got another plane. Well done. Two, you engage, I'll cover. Hmm. Here he goes. Boom, well done. There it is. Going down in flames. Engaging. Or at least it's damaged. Two. You engage. I'm I'll gonna tell him to launch another missile at it. Oh no, it's definitely going down now. You can never tell. Ah <laughs> Boom. That made sure. The what job's done. Radar lock. Okay, someone's got a lock on us. I'll just see where it is. There's our wingman, number two. And there's the enemy plane. It's got a missile on it already. Already allocated to it. And missile away. I'm just going to make sure. Music. I don't really get a good chance to Copy. get a missile on it, otherwise. Two. Fox. Two. And we jump straight to the missile view and boom! We got it! Down it goes. And another missile's got it, and it's completely done for. Two. You engage. That's the way to make sure, I suppose. Put our break down. Two. I'll engage. You cover. Two. Engage my target. Our wingman needs help. Let's see where he is. 
Copy. Two. Much Roger that. <laughs> Oh, there's a lot of targets over there. I've got hardly any air-to-air -air missiles left. Let's see what they are. Oh, they look like bombers. I think they are... SU-25s. I'll well, just go to the target view. Uh, yes. So they're not a priority, to be honest. So I'm just going to ignore them. And go... Look at some ground targets. I switched our alarm missiles and we've got a lock already. And I can see that's an anti aircraft gun. I think it's a Shilka a ZSU type tank which has got four anti aircraft guns on there. It's quite dangerous uh, if you fly slow and low at it. So, missile away. This is the alarm missile, the air launch anti radiation missile. And it's on its way to blow up. And we've got it. Boom. Just see if there's anything else around. But the Red Cross has disappeared on our mini map display, so I don't think there is anything else. So we're just going to move along to the next waypoint now, I think. We've got five alarm missiles left. Ah, someone's uh, ignited their radar, there it is. Decided to wait till we flew past, which is a bit cheeky. And they're flying, firing a uh, flak at us. There it is. Let's see if I can get to it and launch a missile at it. I'm going to launch it off boresight into the air. And this is the other way you can fire these alarm missiles. You can just launch them straight into the air without having it locked on. And what it'll do, it'll fly up to the ceiling of 40,000 feet and just search for any radar missions. There it goes. In the manual it says it launches a parachute, but I haven't seen that yet, so just to hang itself in the air but it's already got a lock and it's heading straight down towards the anti-aircraft gun it's only a matter of time boom Okay, check our plane, we've got four alarm missiles left. And I'm just gonna check the what's flying in the air ahead of us. I don't want to be caught out by some SU flankers. So we've got some helicopters as well. I don't think they're gonna be much of a threat to us, so Autopilot let's see what they do. Engaged. Okay, they've already got uh, missiles allocated to them, so we'll leave the air covering planes to do finish them off. There's a tornado. Music. They've got into the air. Two. Guns, guns, guns. Okay, our wingman's in a gunfight. Not sure what he's attacking. Okay, don't want to get too involved in too much air-to-air -air combat. They're the F-15s. They're doing the air combat for us, and they're in a dogfight, so we can just watch with the smart view. It's in a in a turning dogfight with an MiG-29. 
So they're quite evenly matched planes. And they could be dog fighting for a little while. Oh, he's just he's just got within his sights, but as they turn so tightly, he go he loses sight of the target as soon as it goes in view. So. Okay, we're over to waypoint four. Pilot disengaged. And there's a enemy air target flying away. I just want to check out what it is. Just by pointing our nose at it and selecting our air to air weapons. Music. I think it's uh, really low to the ground, so we can't even detect it. So I think it's can't probably a helicopter. I'm going to ask my wingman to reform because I'll need him to be with me okay there's some red crosses here I just want to see what they are they're probably Engaging. ground targets that we can attack We just skip time. We can get there a bit quicker. Uh, there's an enemy airfield there, so there's probably a lot of surface to air missiles and anti aircraft guns there. We've got our alarm missiles selected, but no one's turned their radar on for us to target, so they're being quite clever. But I know it's only a matter of time. When we fly past, they'll activate. Here we go. And we've been shot at. But the, I'm, just, I'm going to ignore it because I've just seen ahead of us. There's a lot of ground targets. And we can see if we jump around on the F7 ground target view. That's quite a lot of ground targets for us to select. We zoom in on one. That's another flak anti-aircraft gun. Right, it's straight ahead of us. There's quite a high concentration of ground targets denoted by the red crosses we're heading towards waypoint 5 and there's about 17 miles to go and yet again no one's poked their head up and turned their radar on they're gonna wait until we've flown past this is quite dangerous. Here we go. We've got a radar mission. But I'm just going to fly right into the thick of it and see what we can see. And we're under fire. by some flak I'm launching an alarm missile missile away I'm going to launch it off and let it find its own target there it goes up into the sky again loop the loop and see if I can launch any alarm missiles directly
There we go. Target acquired. I'm going to wait until this missile hits home first, just in case we launch a missile at a you know, uh, we duplicate our targets. There goes, boom. And another anti aircraft gun. And missile away. Off it goes. Boom, another one bites the dust. And now we're under heavy fire. Well, we've got to get out of here. We've let our airspeed drop to about 250 knots, so. There you go, another one. Missile away, target acquired, missile away. Okay, let's get out of here. Put our afterburners on and go low and fast. And we've been hit, there's some damage on our wing. And that's the problem if you let your airspeed drop, you become an easy target. Okay, let's go straight to the landing waypoint. And it's some 225 miles away. I've got one alarm missile left. Let's see what that is. I'm flying a bit too fast. Oh, there's an enemy refueler flying around. I'm not going to get distracted by that. I'm going to use this last missile on a decent target, so let's see if we can find one. And we'll do this uh, Warning. Systems along failing. the way home. We've got some damage reports to read. And we've got to reduce our speed and altitude. But we won't need to do that. <laughs> The video will be much longer than it should be. There's an enemy plane heading towards our direction. I'm just going to ignore it. And go back to our alarm missiles. Right, there's a Red Cross directly in front of us, so. Let's see what that is. I'll try and make it everything on the Warning. along the way as possible. Failure. Okay, what's this? Ah, oh, there's a surface air missile there being attacked by somebody else. Wow, that looks quite deadly. So we don't want to fly too close. But it's going to swing around and get a missile on it. Uh, missile away. You can launch these upside down, I think. There it goes. I've, acti I've activated the autopilot so the plane can continue to along its waypoints whilst we're in the missile view.
There is quite a few targets in the distance. I can see a few black dots indicating a heavy concentration of ground targets and they've already been hit, they can see smoke and somebody's already destroyed it so that's a shame okay we've suffered some severe damage to our plane now I can see the HUD screens flickering and we've lost our j to play there it goes, it's flickering We've lost our radar, we've lost our DASS defensive subsystems. So we just need to limp home. There's over 150 miles to go. And I notice this video is getting a bit longer than it what I normally do. So I might end it here. I'm just going to jump around the smart view and see what's about first. See if there's anything interesting. There's an MI-26. I think we saw that earlier. There's an MI-24 Hind. And we've encountered that before in the previous video and they're quite dangerous oh enough enemies destroyed return to base okay we're gonna definitely end this video now and hope you enjoyed that until next time bye bye